As Masami Obari didn't direct OVA 3, we get zero comedy and a lot of tragic flashbacks to vaguely show the angels in their lives before becoming reborn as cyborgs. Rebecca was a covered up fashion model whose family was killed on the day of the attack. Her birthday. Even the baby? Especially the baby. Oh, and she also got penetrated right through her large chest and went down wanting revenge, like the crow. What's my past? You were sickly from your mom getting x ray when she was pregnant and had family issues. So why am I the cheerful one? Because we needed a cheerful member of the party, like Shippo and Inuyasha, or Merle then Escaflone. How did I get killed? I'm not sure if you did die as you were a kid five years ago and born with X-Men like powers. You were tested and kept in a lab and one day you killed a bunch of people. Why would I kill people? I'm the innocent one. It was an accident from you going emotional and trying to suicide because you were treated more like a lab experiment than a human. Aww. Don't worry, your doctor saved you by sacrificing herself in your psycho storm. And that somehow turned you cheerful. What's my dark horrible past? You weren't given one. You're just shown as a cyborg with no memory and freaking out from fighting robots and getting splashed by robot blood. That's cheap. Why isn't my past explored? I don't know, but your first friend was Mitty, whose kindness helped you become the comic hero you are today. What about Minnie's past? She was a Sega in a past life. Now enough flashbacks. This episode is half over. Fight. Even though the only change was us remembering something, we bust out of our chains with no explanation. Kill her grave. Payback time! I learned this from Shinobi on Sega. Comic attack! Angel Blade! Blow up the hyper cannon. Kaiyo Ken times two. How does it feel to have my angel blade penetrating you? Mary Bell and Shory busted your cannon's power source. We win. The base is useless now. I'm bored with it, so I'm a nuke it with my satellite cannon. Why do you want me to kill you? So many died when wanting to live, and you just want to throw your life away? Oh, MJ. The satellite cannon was activated. Now it's gonna nuke us. Everyone evacuate. I love headshots. Now do you see how your evil organization really feels about its members? Let's go. I'm tentacles. This is an angel blade punish, and I'm not Ayame Fudo. Thunder shock. Ah, Maya, save me. And so. Boogie's call reawakened the knocked out strike mile, just like with Lin and the Hulk Dono Ken the movie. Arm circumcision! We can't die just yet. Maya, let's go. Inside, you're not Sonic the Hedgehog. There's a giant death ray coming from above. It's gonna wipe out everything in 300 kilometers. Get us out of here! We won't make it. We have to! Looks like we're dead. At least we can be reborn as animals so we can have souls and don't have to be dirty evil humans. And so, the OVA series is over without any real conclusion. We don't even get to see if Boogie and her friends survive. According to the opening credits, it's based off some kind of monthly manga. Someone find and translate it into English so that few people who know about this series can find out how it ends.